Hello, good morning. It is Monday morning. Oh, August 13th. Um, thank you for joining me at Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, everything I'm using, don't forget the description down below. Um, but today I was looking around in my Magical Dawn book um, by Hannah Carlson. I'm currently coloring this piece. Um, but I keep going back to brand new books, so it's all flippy. I keep going back to this page in Summer Nights that I did. And um, I keep thinking, you know, hi kitty cat. I would really like to show people how I did this. So the, the flowers and bird and everything, they were all colored with the um, Arteza. Hi, you can come up. There you go. You want to go lay down with Miss Marvel? Go on. Go. I'm not going to stay here and, and... No, go. Go. Thank you. Uh, they were all done with the Arteza watercolor pencils. I said go. I'm not... I'm not going to pet you right now. The back... One second. All right, so the background was done with pan pastels. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to show how I did this. I know pan pastels seem to be like all the rage right now. Dee Dee's got them. Sammy just got some. I've had mine for a little while. I've played with them a little bit, like here, but I've not like played, played with them. Um, but I've got the 20 landscape. I had had five before that, four before that. I just got four more. So this is, so this one is the violet shade. Ouch. This is violet tint. And these came from Blick and unfortunately Blick does not have the best track record for gentle handling of things turquoise tint so um i don't know if you can see in here but there's little bits of it it didn't crack the whole thing but like the stuff on the side cracked and then this is turquoise so turquoise tint and turquoise um so i'm thinking i want to do something with these turquoise and some of the greens i have um and i picked that flower page out of Magical Dawn just for that. I like how uh, dramatic this page turned out. This was the um, dark phthalo blue dark shade and it was just awesome. And then I used a lighter blue and then I used like a cream color and a yellow ochre. And as you can see I also used Posca paint pen on top of this and then I seal it you see me see my hand going over it's not coming up um, because I used the Krylon um, workable fixative I sprayed that on so I'm looking for something that doesn't smell quite so dang bad that gives me a headache and I've got a headache right now which is why I'm recording to try to get rid of the headache or at least ignore the headache Um, because the medicine isn't working. So, like I said, I'm going to use the Arteza Woodless Watercolor Pencils. I had gotten these off of Amazon during one of the lightning deals. And, or no, it was Prime Day. It was Prime Day. So, if you notice, I've got two sets. The ones from Prime Day the names were wrong on some of them like this is yellow green but it's actually turquoise in the new set um the magenta this is supposed to be magenta but it's more like a red and then this is supposed to be peach which is a pink so like all the names were wrong on it um i had a mishap where they rolled off my table and they broke 
I've I've super glued them back together. Most of them broken two pieces. One broken three pieces. So these have been through the ringer a little bit. <laughs> but I have two sets if I need to replace any out of this. But they seem to like they work very well. And I'll show you. The largest set they come in is 24 colors, um, which is plenty enough when you're doing small things like this. Or really, it's plenty enough as it is. Um, like I did the Ergo Softs. So those are my Albert Durs. Where did I put the... Here they are. So I've got them labeled. This is set number two with all the... Um, proper so the peach is properly labeled the rose is properly labeled um, it's now chili red and the magenta is now the proper color and it's aquamarine now instead of yellow green um, but it's all the exact same colors just you know with proper color names so there are a few that are somewhat similar, like the apricot and the orange. It's a little difficult to tell the difference. This is more like a vermilion than an apricot, in my opinion. But there you go. Um, the magenta is now a proper magenta, but burgundy and uh, alizarin red. Um, they're awful darn similar. Um, so I think Arteza still has some tweaking to do with these. But overall, they are super, super pretty, and they lay down so nice on these Hannah books. I just, I love them in here, and so I want to use them. So that's just what we'll do. Um, if I want to do a teal background, I'm going to have to stay away from teal. So I'm going to go in the blues and pinks, maybe some yellow and orange um, with the flowers so that I don't I don't do anything to like really take away from the background I've got in my head I mean I, I'm sure it'll change oh this is about ready to break there we go excellent that's why I bought a pack of hundred so I'm gonna set these down oh my goodness I have um, an Arteza water pen, brush pen, water brush pen. This is the medium. Um, I, that should be just fine enough to get into some of the details with just like the tip of it. Um, the small doesn't stay wet enough. The large stays too wet. The medium seems to be like a happy medium. Um, and just so you know, I do use my m &R sharpener with the, um, the woodless watercolor pencils. I could save the, the, the shavings, but I don't. The only problem I find with these Arteza water brushes is the cap. It does not go on the end and stay. That really pisses me off. That's my only pet peeve with these Arteza brushes. It really is. And then, as I always do, I test how wet it is on my hand. So you can see the water there. I always test how wet and how much it pools up. Because you don't want it too wet. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm just going to start on this end one. Let's see move my stuff there we go so I'm gonna start on this end one and I really want it to be a nice blue so I'm gonna take that denim blue and sky blue so what I did in my last one is I really layered the heck out of out of the uh, watercolor pencils so I'm gonna go in with the sky blue just going to lay down a little bit. I'm going to take my water brush, activate it, 
it activates so nicely you never see any of those pencil lines and this paper takes water so nicely anyway so that's a very very light blue so I'm gonna go in just a little bit heavier handed on some of these and just like I would when with a colored pencil just fade out to the end again I'm just going to go in and activate that you should really if you're going to do that color shift this goes way lighter than and I expect it to. That's okay. I can go over it multiple times. That's not a big deal. I just let the let the area dry. So again, I'm going hard pressure, then lightening up. go in and activate all that wipe your brush off in between because you will have excess pigment on your brush so you're not seeing a whole lot but there is some that way you're not dragging it in the areas that you wanted to keep lighter I have found though with these they move a little when you go back over them after they've dried they move a little not a lot just a little and go back up here and add in some extra pigment I tried going out for a walk last night and you know I saw some rain clouds I was like oh you know check the weather say it's not gonna rain till like nine right it's I think at the time I went out it was like six barely six it just hit six um, so there's that so I'm actually gonna take purple iris for these down here since they're a different flower I'll add in purple to it I just need to remember that so that's done I'm gonna actually do the same kind of colors it's still gonna be the sky blue the denim blue but then I'm gonna add in purple iris for these so I'm gonna do the same hard pressure and then lighten up as I go down I really want a dense color in the center or at the edge here and I would rather drag my color to the ends versus laying it down because if you just lay it down then you can't keep it as light as maybe you want to this allows me some control over that Anyway, so I was going out and the weather said um, it wasn't going to rain until like 9 o'clock. So I go out and I'm like, cool. You know, I'd been sitting in a theater all day. We went and saw Book of Mormon. Uh, so we were sitting in a theater and then we went out to eat. So, you know, my legs needed to move. And I pop in headphones, I pop in Pod Save America to catch up. Because my husband listens to it religiously. I only listen to it when I walk. So I needed to catch up on what he was so we could have conversations. But anyway, so now I'm going to take the denim blue. I'm just going to come in in these darker little areas and just 
pop a little bit in. I'm going to just do two and see how I like it. Oh, I like it. Knock some of that off so you're not dragging it to the lighter spots. I'm going to have to go in again with the denim blue. That's not nearly dark enough for me. But that was a good, good start. That was an excellent start. I like that. I really, really like that. So I'm just going to go do that to all the others. Um, I'm going to make sure they're dry. If they're not dry, then I'll move on to another part. Um, to let them dry but as you can see like the paper's still flat I've not buckled I've not it's not going through nothing it's all gravy so I go out on the walk and like two seconds in I'm starting to get spit on you know that rain where it's just kind of like oh I might rain watch out here I come, are you ready? So I'm like, oh, if I walk this direction, it doesn't appear that the clouds are moving that way. Sorry, I had to get a drink. It doesn't appear that the clouds are moving that way. So maybe if I just go that way, I can avoid, I can avoid it. So I finally get onto the path, which is like, a block and a half from my house and it starts coming down not like super duper hard but enough where I'm like if I stay out in this I'm gonna get really wet so I was at the point in the path where I could go I could go loop around and hit the street and come back into my neighborhood and it was the equidistance to turn back around and go back home or just go that way so I just went that way and I get into my neighborhood and it is like starting to big thick fat raindrops I hear some thunder off in the distance awesome waiting for my husband to text and see if he needs to come get me but I told him I was going on the path so if I was going on the path I don't know how he'd come get me um, So that was that was fun and then it like started lightning and like really thundering and pouring down even more and I was like a block from the house and I'm already soaked. I'm soaked. Finally my husband texts. He's like, ah. Oh. I get the text just as I'm walking up my porch. I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm here. I'm like, yeah, nine o'clock my rear end. Bless you, kitty kitty. So, that was my adventures in going on a walk yesterday. And today it just looks nasty and my head hurts from the barometric pressure. Between, between that and hormones, like, I couldn't sleep because my head hurts so bad. Usually I can get away with it. I can like, oh, I'm just going to go to sleep and I'll wake up in the morning and my head won't hurt. I can usually get away with that. Nope. Not last night. I might hop on. My husband finally fixed the elliptical. So I might hop on that. Even though that'll kill my hip. I'll do it in gently, I guess. I just need to move. Do you ever get that? Well, you just need to move. I was I was mad. Didn't get to go on my walk last night. But I finally opened um, Elder Scrolls Online again, finally. Um, I've been meaning to, and then I'd open it and be like, you ever just totally forget every key binding to, like, everything? So... Beyond knowing how to like walk forward and everything, like I hadn't, I couldn't remember anything about the game. And so I was mad. And then my plugins wouldn't work and all that fun stuff. And then last night I had an idea to start blog posting. 
nothing coloring related more social commentary um, there's a lot going on in the world and sometimes just talking to my husband isn't enough because he and I you know we agree on just about everything um, and so sometimes it's not necessarily a good thing to always agree and then the stuff we don't agree I'm just like why don't why don't we agree on this it's it's so weird but so I was thinking about starting something on, uh, about social commentary um, so we'll see I had a really good idea for like an article but that's just it I want to get into um, digital communication which is you know can branch out into something like that so I thought I might start in that and just see see what I can do and where I can go with it um, we'll see It'll be like a WordPress blog. I really like WordPress blogs. Uh, Tumblr crap. Can't do Tumblr, man. It's weird. Tumblr's very weird. So can you see how it, the layering's building everything up? So it's giving more depth and dimension to this flower rather than a flat color and these pigments melt so easy I never have an issue with seeing my lines I'm going to do something slightly different here. I'm going to go down the sides instead of just straight down. I'm actually going to pull it a little bit. That way it gives it a curved look. Just a little bit. again oh my gosh I am gonna have to just like take one um, shelf and just dedicate it to the cats because my goodness do they get in there Thankfully, right now, they're only in the kids' shelves. I kept the kids' shelves lower. Please get out of there. I might end up getting the water bottle here in a minute. Got a UPS. That was the FedEx guy going by. Got my daughter's unicorn backpack coming for her first day of kindergarten. I'm super excited and scared all at the same time. I don't know how well she's going to deal with all that. I tried bending this page back, but it is not... It did not 
do what I wanted it to do. So, all right, I'm going to go back in with these top ones with that sky blue light. And just, let's see, I'm going to add in a little more, kind of like more of a forget-me-not blue instead of these this darker blue I'm going to have down here. So that looks good. So I'm going to take the sky blue. And this is just what I did in the other picture. I just went back and forth and back and forth until I was happy with the way it looked. The way it came out. And that's kind of what I'm going to do here. So on these I've already gotten the protective coating off. You can see on some of the other ones um, where it's got this kind of like fil white filmy. Um, beyond doing the swatch, um, I always take this off before I start coloring with it. Just FYI. I still want to maintain a little bit of a white area and if I need to come in with a post Posca or a gel pen or something to put that back in I will. Sunny, why? I didn't call you up here. Go lay down in the window seat. Miss Marvel isn't in there. Here you go. Good girl. That's the coveted seat, the window seat by my desk. Because it's near me and they can see outside. There's that. I kind of like that. I think that may be all I do to that. We'll see. I might come in with a little more denim blue. So this is the purple iris and I'm just going to come in and just do some extra shading right around there. If that's not deep enough, then I'll go tip to paper. I think I want it so much darker. There we go. Wipe off what I don't need and go in and manipulate that around a little bit. without so you notice I did just this little line right here I'm just gonna pull that up just a hint of a shadow now I'm gonna have to get it directly from the source Bless you. And just move it around a little bit. There we go. So these still need some work. Let's see. Let's actually go from the tip. Just a 
a little extra oomph on that. It may not seem like much on the video, but I notice it, and that's kind of all that matters to me, is that I notice. And then if you got some edges here, no, you do not bite or lick on my curtains. Spray bottle right here, pointing right at you. Silly cat. Sunny's gonna be destructive. I can tell already. So I'm just taking this denim blue, just adding it where I want it to be just a hair darker. Wipe off the excess, and then kind of smooth out any lines. Now, I'm not actually wasting a whole lot of pigment here. I haven't had to resharpen. I've colored on. This is as blunt as this one's gotten. It's the one I've used the most. So these are very, very well. And then there's a protective coating on the outside. So holding it like this isn't going to melt. I was worried because I always hold, hold them in my hands. Uh, but it isn't going to melt the uh, pigment or anything. This is just a pure pigment stick in here. The whole thing can be used. I think I got mine for eight. Well, I got it on a lightning, not lightning, uh, Amazon Prime. So I think I got it for like $12.99. But I think it's 18 something for the 24 pack and that's as big as it comes is 24 all right so I'm gonna come down here with this denim blue I like that I've got a little bit of time to manipulate it. It doesn't, it's not like ink tense where it seems to just like dry as soon as you put it down and you can't like move it after that. I've got a little bit more time with this, which is nice because I'm not a fast not fast at this though you want to see somebody mastered like watercolor pencils in in books you should totally check out Zargot Hunter um, she does some really really good watercolor in books pencil work it's very it's very cool she was testing I think she was testing out some different brands so maybe some that are a little more readily available to some people um, I know she has a hard time getting these where she's at so I'm going back with the sky blue now just it was a little too bit of a harsh jump and so I'm just kind of evening that out a little bit
So just the same with my pencil work. I find that if I choke back on things, it's much easier to add to where you want it and so much harder to take back if you've gone too far. I think I'm very happy with these little flowers here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab my greens. And I'm gonna actually grab, is it the walnut brown? No, the espresso. So I'm gonna sharpen these real quick. There's no good spot. I don't need them like super sharp. They are really, really flaky, like just flaky. So you could save all the pigments. I find that a bit too much work. I know Heather from Bunny, <laughs> Bunny Designs would just, you know, oh my gosh, clutch pearls. All that pigment I'm wasting. But, you know, I only have so much time in a day. I only have so many, so much space available to me. Like, where would I even put it? And I'd have to put each in their own little Ziploc bag. So I'd have 24 Ziploc baggies full of just like itty bitty little bits of, no thanks, I'm good. I'm good. All right, so the greens I've grabbed and the same greens I used in the other one. Um, so it's grass green, emerald green, and then I grabbed, I think, and that one I had actually grabbed. Oh, come on, Paige, turn. No, I think I'd grabbed espresso the last time too. So, let me see. I kind of want a similar feel. Where is it? That fun times when you can't find what you're looking for. There we are. Now I think I grabbed I think I grabbed the walnut or the tawny. But I'm gonna go with espresso. Because so I think I had grabbed a black too. I don't want I don't want any black in this picture. So that's what I'll do. I'll just leave it with the espresso. I, for two seconds, had a heart attack thinking I had paused the video and never restarted it. I was going to be like so mad at myself. But I didn't. Yay! So I'm going to start with the, the lightest color, the grass green. And I'm just going to put it all over. Not very elegantly, it's just, this is the initial, initial lay down. I'm actually going to grab the tawny and do like a twine tie, I think is what we'll do there. This is probably some of the funnest coloring just taking some simple 24 pack, going back to like basics, forcing yourself to create colors and color combinations that maybe you wouldn't do otherwise because you just have that color. Um, so I find doing this on occasion really helps me think outside the box as far as what colors can go together. Um, like that, that peachy, yellowy red flower that I did, I'd have never put those colors together. Otherwise, so, all right, that's the initial lay down. I'm going to go and try and make sure I don't have too much water on. I actually do, that's really wet. That's barely anything. It just feels very cold. So then you just follow it. 
and you don't have to um, wipe off your brush on this if you don't want to. I have a habit of doing it. Um, it's a good habit to get into. Uh, for other reasons. I think this will turn out very pretty. Wasn't entirely sure. I had like two or three pictures in my head that I wanted to do, but I wanted something simple enough it wouldn't take me a million years to color. But I wanted something complex enough that I could showcase some of the cool things you can do with just 24 watercolor pencils. So, you know, this one out, I'm pretty happy with my choice. I love I love watercoloring flowers. I think I think flowers and watercolor go hand in hand so well. Any type of landscape thing, I think it goes together very, very well. I don't like watercoloring people. I find that to be very difficult. Now you could just lay this flat and then go over it with pencils. That's fine. Um, I hate... I'm very bad about this and I need to get better because, you know, you can, you can make some really awesome stuff. Um, but I really dislike changing, changing mediums like that. Plus this works out so well. If this was a more complex page, I might do that where I would just do the initial kind of wash and then then go through but it's so simple and so sweet and I just I just like the look of the watercolor with it so now I'm gonna go in with the emerald green um, and just make sure it's all the only thing that's not really gonna dry fast is this leaf so I'm gonna do my shadowy bits little shadow areas I'm going to follow the, where the blue shadows are. So just like that. Let's come in. Add some water. Move it around. It's going to tint that green a little bit. So it's just another different little shade of green. I'm going to actually come down a little bit closer for you. Let's see. Since this is such minute detail, um, I don't want you to really miss anything. So we're going to come down with that emerald green and just kind of taper off. Come a little bit right here. We're just going to kind of whatever I feel like some darker green needs to go. And you just pull it down. I will go back in with that lighter green just to oop some of the colors. I really want it green, so we'll go back in with the grass green. Really up up that light light green mm, and that muddied the other color okay so I'm not waiting shame on me so I took it from the tip So there's that so far. I'm going to go in and do some of this other shading. So 
So if you guys have any other ideas about anything you want to see me do, I figured the pan pastel background and, and this watercolor would be nice. Um, I think next month I will be doing the challenge yourself challenge um, where you try something new. Doesn't matter what picture, doesn't matter what, it just needs to be something new to you. Um, and I'm, I'm stuck between Distress Inks and maybe these Pan Pastels doing an entire picture in Pan Pastels. But I haven't, I haven't worked with the pastels enough to really feel like I get them. But that's kind of the point though, isn't it, I guess. So, that'll be September. So then you could you could work in with some of the other challenges that are going on in September. Um, work it in so you do the challenge yourself thing on a specific page that, you know, or a specific book or whatever. Um, or I might try hyper-realism. I don't know. It's all so, it's all so much stuff. So I'm going to actually take the middle of the leaf to be the darker part and leave the outside for kind of a lighter area. So we'll see. See how that works. Kind of like that. Like that looks nice. And then I'll come in with the maybe an darker green again and really oomph it up. That's a technical term by the way, oomph it up. For the challenge yourself challenge, if working with, you've had like watercolor pencils or watercolors or something just laying around, use those. Who cares if you're not proficient with them? That's the entire point. That's the entire point. I have found the more proficient I get at one medium, the easier it is to then take that knowledge and move it to the other mediums. So taking pencil techniques and applying them to watercolor pencils. So this is the same techniques I would use with, with pencils. These are the exact same techniques. I just, I'm adding water to the mix instead of just straight pencil work. Uh, so now I'm taking espresso and just in those darker shadowy areas, a little bit. Little bit. Here and there, just enough to, to give a shadow. So 
and we pull it down a little bit and then push it back up. Just enough to get it going. Now you have a little bit of a shadowy area. So let's see. So that's almost dry now. Let's actually go back down here. Do some of this. So got some more uh, Copics with my pan pastels, just a handful. I had to get up to free shipping. That was just about it. Then, come to find out, I had one of the Copics already. I hate that. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad at myself. So now I've got like five duplicates. And I went off my list. Like, I've got the chart, and so I go through the Blick site, and I go, okay, do I have E42? Yes. Don't get that. Do I have, you know, V16? No. Click. Get that. So I was going off my list, which means, A, my list was wrong. I'm putting in some shadow right here. Yeah, it means A, my list is wrong. This is annoying. Oh, but I like that brown. Hmm. Which means I didn't put in... How did I miss that marker? I've been really good. But now I have like just about one of every, I don't have one of every color. There's like 300 and something. Or no, there's 172. So I'm going back with the emerald green. I'm just adding, adding more in. Really just trying to get a nice color saturation going. I feel like it's a little too light in some spots. So just want to get that saturation. Anyway, I need to like I need to do Copic work. There's so many things that I want to do and not enough time to do it. So I'm just trying to just take it one at a time. Like I wanted to work on my Lyra's. So that's why I started this picture. I was like, man, I haven't done my Lyra's in forever. So I was like, oh, I'll just go and work with my Lyra's. And now I'm like, oh, I want to do some pan pastel. So I'm doing this right now. I'm like, oh, I want to do X, Y, and Z. I'm going to do Copics. And... Oh, I'm out of frame. I'm sorry. I want to do Copics. I want to do this. I want to do that. And just not enough time in the day. And I can't... Like, I only truly color for an hour maybe two a day I can't just I can't just sit here all day whatever I do on stream and maybe about 45 minutes tonight on on the other picture that'll be all I color today not on stream I'm not on stream Melissa you're not on stream Whatever I do on the recording today and the 
45 minutes or whatever I do tonight after the kids go to bed will be all eye color today because I've got, you know, I've got other stuff to do. I'm going to use my Instapot for the first time today to make beef stroganoff. That'll be fun. I don't have an Instapot. I shouldn't say Instapot. Um, it's actually just, it's called a time machine. I got it from, I got it from Costco before Instapot was cool or was a thing. Um, so I got it from Costco and it's just like an Instapot. It's a pressurized cooker, an electric pressure cooker. That's all. So that's what I'm going to use today to cook my Normally all I do in it is cook rice. And I wanted to branch out. I'm so tired of having the same food all the time. Even though technically beef stroganoff is kind of the same food. I like it. I haven't had it in a while. I'm making beef stroganoff. And the girls eat it. That's the killer part. It's not so much, you know, I'm making the same food all the time. It's I'm making food that kids will eat, which isn't much these days. Just super annoying. Oh boy. So, that's the, that's my biggest problem is, I don't know what the kids will eat. They change their minds so frequently. I'm tired of trying to come up with food. Like, I've got this app called Yumly, which I can, like, look up any food I want, which is all fine and dandy when I know what I want to eat. And sometimes I can just be like, look, I've got chicken. What can I make with chicken? Um... So, I'm going to grab the tawny. Let me reach over and sharpen this. Because now I'm going to do I'm going to do the twine. And while I was sitting here, I was like, you know what would be really cool? putting some brown in this leaf. So that'll be what I do. And then I still have the yellow pistols and stamen. So that's that. Get a little bit of... Sometimes I have no patience. So that was the espresso for a little shadowy part. So, what I'm actually going to do is take the tawny and in some spots just give it a little bit of a yellowy color. Just to give some dimension and depth to this, um, just to make it not so uniform. Because, you know, all leaves are not created equal. I don't care what anybody says. And it's just a hint. It's just a touch. And it just adds a little bit of realism. It. like this is this is an actual this could be an actual leaf somewhere you know there that that was everything I needed 
So I'm gonna grab the lemon yellow and the chrome yellow. I need to sharpen these and the tawny and the espresso. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Leave a comment in the description or not in the description. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you dig these type of videos. Um, with my girls going to school, I have a little bit more time to do something like this um, where I can do well, maybe color alongs if that's what you want to call it. Um, or just a little tutorial where I, I color the whole picture with you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to color this whole picture with you. It's going to be a couple videos, but that's my plan. If that's okay. You know, if that interests you. Some people does, some people doesn't. Um, I just kind of branch out from just doing uh, live streams. So I'm going to pull this down just a little bit just so we can get all of that lovely stuff right here. The, these watercolor pencils have helped me to relearn to love Hannah's work. I don't know why exactly I fell out of love with Hannah's work, um, but there for a while I was not I was not having fun with them. It was too many people, it was too many this, it was too many that. I can't even, like, I can't even pinpoint what it was. So that was the lemon yellow. This is the chrome. Let's go see what we end up needing. I actually grabbed the orange. So, but these these watercolor pencils and and keeping it kind of simple, like like I have been, has really really helped me to enjoy these books again. And um, I rebought this book because I really screwed up several pictures in my other book with watercolor because I thought I was awesome and I just like drenched the freaking paper. Don't drench the paper people. I'm just saying. All right, I am going to grab the orange just for a little bit. I need to sharpen it just for a touch. I should have sharpened them all before I started, but eh. Eh. What are you going to do? This is real, people. This is how it goes. Drop some orange in here. I don't know if I'm going to do it in these, but definitely in these. I think you could use a little orange. Yes. Wah ha ha ha. I actually like that and don't think I'm going to put anything else in there. Right? I might actually grab just a touch more orange. Right off the tip. Oh, I likes it. I likes it. I likes it a lot. All right, so let's see. Let's grab the tawny. This is kind of more like a yellow ochre, just with a hint more brown to it, depending on your concentration, of course. So 
that gives it that. And now I'm actually going to take the espresso for just a touch of shadow. My cat is sitting there in the window. Nobody's touching her, nobody's doing anything. She's just sleeping and purring. And that, my friends, as they say, is that. Isn't that cute? I put my lid. I'm gonna put the lid on because I have been known to lay this down and it's wet and it touches tip to tip and then I have like a soaked tip and that's no good. That, ladies and gents, is some forget-me-nots and some bluebells. That's what I'm calling it. Forget-me-nots and bluebells. Whether or not that's what those actually are, don't care. Don't care. I kind of want to do these like strawberries. That would be fun. And then nice yellow and then that peachy. Yes. Mwahaha. So that is using Arteza watercolor pencils, just 24. And I probably only use, I only use three, six, 11. 11 colors in this. That's it. Nothing too fancy. So that's that one. I will do the other two as I can on, on other um, whatevs. We've got something going on on Wednesday. I stream tomorrow. Which I'll work. I'll be working on um, the Cherry Fairy. I managed to get some of her hand done, but I still need to finish up that. But we'll, we'll be working on the rest of the leaves and then the cherries on the next stream um, for that. So that's what we'll do for that. But the next couple recordings that I do... This is what I'll be doing with you guys. We'll just work through this whole page and then we'll do a pan pastel background and we'll just see it all come together. I hope that is something you would enjoy. Um, let me know in the comments below if that's the type of thing that you would love to see from me um, or if there's something else you've got in mind, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button next to the subscribe button to get updates. Um, or to get notifications for when I update, or when I post things. Um, links for everything should be in the description down below. If you don't see anything, or if you don't see something, uh, just hit me up, and I'll, I'll get that info for you. But have a great day, and I will see you on my stream on Tuesday, or if you're watching this some other time, see you on my next video. Bye!